Hi, how are you? My name is Pete and in this video I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about lock picking in Starfield and how to crack any lock 100% of the time. So before we start, you need to have a Digipix. Now Digipix go into your inventory in the miscellaneous category and as you can see here, I have seven Digipix. Now you can find them anywhere, they could be in bases, ships, dead bodies, you name it. It's all about luck whether you find them or not. However, the most reliable source of Digipix is just vendors. Majority of the vendors will have them available. However, remember that they're gonna have them in miscellaneous category. And I suggest you stock up on them because a lot of good loot in this game is locked behind that little lockpicking minigame. On top of it, I would also suggest you take one of the skills that makes lockpicking much easier. So if you go to your skills and you go to tech category, there is a skill called security. Now you don't need any points in it to be able to crack the novice locks. However, if you want to crack any of the most advanced locks, you're gonna need to rank up this skill. Now the way you rank it up, first you need to spend the skill point to grab the rank one, then by picking five locks as you can see here you will unlock the possibility of taking the rank two but you're also gonna need to spend one of the skill points and so on and so on now the higher the ranks the higher difficulty of locks you will be able to crack and also the rank two has a very important perk to it the rings now turn blue when the pick can be slotted which basically will make your life much easier but I will get back to it later. So let's start with something simple. Let's start with the novice difficulty and let me go over the things you can see on this screen. So here on the orange, you can see the difficulty level of the lock. As you can see, it's novice. Then a bit lower, you can see how many digipix you have. At the moment, I have seven. Here you can see different pins that you're gonna have to slot into those rings in order to unlock this lock. And then at the very bottom you can see the amount of auto slots you have available to you. So right now I have only one available, but pay attention to that blue outline on that square. That fills up every time you open the lock. And whenever it will fill up fully, then you will get another auto slot, providing that you're at the skill level that you can have more than one auto slot. So the whole idea of this mini game is to rotate and match the pins with the holes on the rings. Now what's very important is that you need to fill in all the holes, you can't leave any holes unfilled. So first let me show you how the auto slot works. So once you have the auto slot available to you, all you gotta do is just click it and it will automatically match one of the pins to the correct ring. So as you can see in this example, it matched this one to the outside ring. So that covered three holes, but that leaves us with another three holes that we need to find the pin in order to fill them. So by the looks of it, that one might be actually good for it. Yes, it is. So as you can see, we pretty much have the outside ring sorted. We have this pin that will fill in those three gaps over here and we have this pin that will fill in the remaining three gaps. Now I would suggest you don't slot the second you see that they'll match. Just wait and make sure that the remaining two that you have here will be able to open the inner ring. So let's have a look. So as you can see the first pin kind of aligns pretty well with the inner ring here but that leaves us with the three holes and hopefully that will match it and yes it does match it so the first pin goes into them three holes and the second pin goes into the remaining three holes on the inner circle so once you have it all sorted you're sure that you can fill all the gaps in both rings then you can start filling them in Now, if at any stage you made a mistake and you want to go back one step, you can do that providing you have enough digipix. Like you can see I have six digipix and here if you go on that little button here that says undo, it also has six. That number represents the amount of digipix that are available to you. By clicking undo, yes, you will go back the step, however, it will cost you one digipix. So let's slot that in again. And here it's pretty simple and that's how you open the lock. Now let's move on 
to something more difficult. And here we have the master level of security for the lock. So this is the highest level possible you can meet in the game right now. And just a little tip for you before we start, if you're trying to match those pins and you don't seem to find the solution at all, before you slot in any of those picks, as you can see here, this time I have 18 digipicks, I can just leave that and start it again and I will have completely brand new set of pins and rings which might be easier for you and it didn't cost me any of the picks. I will show you again, just try to memorize what kind of pins you can see here. I have 18 digi picks. If I quit and go back in, I have completely different sets of rings. So that brings me to the thing I mentioned earlier that some of those rings become blue. It's thanks to the skill that you took and basically what it means like in this example that that particular pin can be slotted in the outside ring or the very inner ring and it can be slotted on the second or the third ring because it just won't match. So that's very helpful for cracking those locks. For example this one as you can see this pin can be slotted in any of the rings. So what you're looking for, you're looking for the pins that can be only slotted into one of the rings. And here we have one, that one can only be slotted on the outside ring. Now it doesn't mean that it's correct one, but it more likely is. So in this case we got pretty unlucky because majority of the pins that we have matching a lot of the rings. So what I would suggest if that happens to you, I would just quit and go back again. And what we're looking for is for the pins that only go to one ring, like in this case, or in this case. And that will make your life 10 times easier. That's another example that can only go into one ring. The less pins that you have available to you that go into all the rings, the easier it's going to be for you to crack the, the lock. So once you're happy that you have good few pins that can go only to one ring, then you can start aligning them. So in this example here, as you can see, the majority of single pins, meaning that they can only go into then one ring, they all seem to be aligning with the most inner circle. So let's start with this one. And one more trick that I often use is if you have a hard time lining up, like for example this one, you can see that it has to line up with the inner circle, but sometimes it's hard to imagine exactly how it lines up. Like as you can see here, those three line up, but the fourth one doesn't. The way I do it, I pick one of the pins, for example this one, line it up with each consecutive hole and see if the other ones line up then. That way you won't get confused when you're trying to line up the pins. So it doesn't line up when you line it up with this one. What about this hole? See, I, I pointed that pin into the second hole. Again, it doesn't line up because that one doesn't. Let's try another one. And here they're all lined up. This one with this one, with this one, and with this one. I hope that's understandable what I'm trying to explain here. So let's so see what we can do here. So that one seems to line up pretty well. And, and that's it. Seems like we just cracked the inner ring. They're all lining up perfectly. Of course, you can't use them yet because you need to start from the very outside ring. But that's, in my opinion, the easiest way to do it. Start lining up the ones that can only match with one ring. Otherwise, you will confuse yourself. So you just have to keep in mind that those two you can't touch for now until you figure out the rest. So now that we know that those two go on the inner circle, we can start looking for the pins like this one, for example, that lines up with the outer ring and the very inner ring. We know that we don't need that pin to line up with the inner circle anymore because we have them two already sorted. So you basically treat it now as that one is only available for the outer ring. So let's try to line it up with the outer ring. By the looks of it, it will go something like this. And there is one missing. We have one, one, two, three, four singles. 
so that shouldn't be a problem you can line it up for now so you just remember them to go to the inner circle and them to go to the outer circle so now we need two more circles to crack and again you just randomly scroll through the ones of of course ignoring the singles because they always gonna match with everything but you're just trying to find the ones that are matching with the second circle now because now we're going for the second circle so that one matches but it doesn't seem like there's anything that will match with them two holes other than singles and i'm trying not to use the singles straight away if i have any other option what about this one this one matches with the second ring and there you go it matches with three holes and it leaves one hole and considering that we have so many singles we can actually use that single i said before that i don't like using singles yes i don't like using singles on when there is more holes missing but when there is only one like in this example on the second ring then for now i will leave it like that so now we have cracked the first circle the second circle and the fourth circle so now we are missing the third circle and by the looks of it it only has two holes and since we have exactly two singles left that pretty much solves the problem so now we have it all lined up so now let's start slotting them in the first outline circle click here and click here now the second one as far as i remember there was this one yes and this one there you go so now we have the third circle which we decided to use singles only and now we have the fourth circle that we actually cracked as the first one and that's it now guys if you have any questions leave them down in the comment i'll try to answer them as quickly as possible and i hope you find this video useful if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one thank you